Sunset Port of Tacoma. Tacoma Water Piers. You know, sunsets here. And as you can see, there's a bunch of other containers, other stuff that's in this port, which is flammable, combustible. Oh, there's even a bunch of uh, rock refineries around here. So you know, this place goes, it's just a ticking time out. And we're getting ready to head out towards the LNG pipeline. So, you know, it starts off small, but will grow. We will grow, you know, city limits, traffic, ending time, you know. So we will be getting going here. Wish everybody safe journeys, safe thoughts, get those prayers. Be nice to have just things, the old ways, you De face that value, value of a dollar. We have other people live streaming going on. So get more of this scenery for you guys and what's around here. Piala Tribe, uh, they have their old casino mm. building where the boat is or used to be. And then, so that's facing down the south. That's the west. And where that semi is parked strictly uh, straightly down the road is their dig site for their pipe and as you've seen if you guys were watching Monday night I was following right behind a Dakota case he's a peel up tribal member he was showing me the site where they were doing that and just recently there was a uh, locked down by the Super 6 and they're participating in this rally also so we have quite a bit of people here showing up thanks for watching you know, share this as much as you can get people aware of pipelines Leaks, explosions. This is now the location of Firecracker Isle Alley. Firecracker Alley. So it's where a lot of people are coming down to purchase fireworks. This is our rally point right here. And we will be starting from here. will be heading north that way and then we will be heading eastward to where they are building a pipeline and we have the tribal police here which is really nice for for escort out walk around what does your sign say no LNG thank you hey he shows up finally <laughs> okay what does your sign say there Dakota I know how it is out there you can't use the restroom you know what I mean what's that say honor our lands claim settlement hashtag water warriors
And that is Dakota Chase case. I keep saying something else.
And you see we're heading north and let me switch this around really quick. There's a video on YouTube. It shows that the effect of the explosion of a boat which is carrying liquid nit nitrogen or uh, liquid natural gas and it has an effect of three miles and I've just walked probably maybe not even a quarter mile and so if you can see in the distance right here right there on the other side of this road those are houses those are people's houses I haven't even walked a half mile and I could literally see them from here so you know this explosion can affect up to three miles first mile is an incineration second mile is just an impact third mile or a uh, third mile you know it's not so much so we're not even walking a half a mile and there's other plantations around here other kinds of uh other kind of um, man-made structures around here with chemicals, explosive chemicals. So, you know, just one, just takes one of it, then get a chain reaction. And this is in the port of Tacoma. And this port's like right in the middle of it all. Browns Point, Tacoma on the other side, and then to the east, on the other side of these, right here, right on the other side of these buildings, you can see a little town called Fife, and that's next to a highway. So, you know, this LNG gets put in, and it has an explosion. Up to three miles can be affected by it. Three miles. think the construction workers around here are aware of how bad this is or these other companies you know look up uh, LNG explosions you'll find a bunch of videos on there you'll see them try to say it's safe you know they're handing out flyers saying that this is economical it's uh, green efficient they'll put money in the community and they'll provide jobs 280 some jobs that were possibly provided and some of them's already filled but how many of those 280 jobs is already filled and gonna stay in this area well, yeah they they're trying to do some uh some uh good propaganda repeat after me we stand we stand we stand with our brothers we stand Water is 
life. Water is life. Stand up, fight back. What do you do when your people are under attack? Stand up, fight back. What do you do when your treaties are under attack? Stand up, fight back. Hey, hey, ho, ho. LNG has got to go. Hey, hey, hey. ho, ho. LNG has got, got to go. go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. LNG has got Sarah, to go. We need her. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, Sarah, when we need her. That was a nice chat we had, huh? Oh, oh, oh. LNG has got to go, hey, hey. Oh, oh. LNG has got to go, hey, hey. Oh, oh. LNG has got to go, hey, hey. Oh, oh. LNG has got to go, hey, hey. Oh, oh. LNG has got to go, hey, hey. Oh, oh. LNG has got to go. See, we didn't march very far from the Firecracker Alley. We're coming up to heavy traffic area. It is the area where they are laying down the pipe for the LNG. Let's see if I can get a little bit further over to... It is a one-way traffic now. So this is day three. This is where they're laying down the pipeline, the LNG pipeline, also known as PSC, Puget Sound Energy. They are doing construction during the night so people cannot see it during the day. Organize our trailer signal, we're going to keep walking. Organize our trailer signal, and we'll keep 
safety first, all right? So now we have Mark walked all the way up to a part that they have covered, which is actually this part right here. They have covered from there where all this new part is all been covered up pipe. For the last three nights, this is where the area where they've been uh, doing all their live streaming, people uh, doing Monday night. This wasn't. This was all dug up right here. That whole centerpiece. That was all dug up. That was all dug up. So this is where I was at on a Monday night, two nights ago. And as you can see, they have paved it over and they're moving down the road. As I had uh, said that Monday night, they're gonna uh, leapfrog these uh, big old skid plates that are on the ground. They move them forward so they can cover up the hole so cars can drive right over them for the safety of the people. I see it gets pretty decent traffic through here. Members do a lot of fishing here, shell fishing, net fishing, regular fishing, even canoe in these areas. Contamination. How much of this will be here? Let's say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years.
laying down a pipe. A pipe. ripped up the road. And that's how far this is stretching all the way from there to here and so this is what we got going on we want to pull offside so that we can let this cop pull over so the traffic can go by all right he's pulling over he's pulling off to the side We slow down to traffic they're gonna all wonder why did traffic slow down then they got to look for an answer it's all because of people marching against the LNG and that's a way of getting people informed traffic you know now people are going to wonder why it slowed down little interaction with the uh, law enforcement with each other
one on the left is Puyallup Tribal. One on the right is Tacoma Police. Getting their uh, law involved, the law enforcement, their officers, tribal affiliation, tribal rights, you know, exercise your rights. It's, it's messed up to say, but we got publicity from it, you know what I mean? The media blackout is real. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. real, that's what I'm saying, you know what I mean? That's Dedication, you gotta be dedicated for it. Yeah. Dakota, you're amazing. You really are. You're amazing. You kept us going. You're amazing too. You're amazing. <laughs> all, all of you guys are amazing down here. Everybody that's came down here. This? Yeah. <laughs> Stand with Puyallup Tribe. No frack gas at Tacoma Port. No LNG. Respect Native Treaty Rights. No LNG. RedlineTacoma.org. Now, as you can see, we have all this down here. All the heavy machinery. All here. You know, it's in. So you're just getting informed about this now? Yeah, see, there are people been following up on the protest and all that, but I did. Protection. Protection. <laughs> Good call. He's a tribal policeman. <laughs> all right. There you go. Local tribal officers just now learned this was the site of the LNG pipeline. Uh, just goes to show how much information is being passed out from this company. This company is trying to cover this up with it's green, it's economical, it's uh, it's everything that every anybody can dream about that is safer. But if you go to look on YouTube, uh, LNG explosion, you'll see all whole lot there's one that Dakota posted up it shows that there's a three mile uh, explo uh, explosion three different uh, how would you say that phases of that explosion and so the first one is like the incinerator